Today, I will show you how to auto-generate video chapter titles for your YouTube videos and podcasts using artificial intelligence. Now, there are two problems that we'll need to overcome. Number one is accuracy of timestamps, and number two is length of your videos. Now, if you've tried to use ChatGPT, for example, and paste a transcript from a video to get chapter titles generated, you probably know that it doesn't work all that well. So in this video, I'll show you two super easy methods to get super accurate chapter titles created for those long ass videos that you have. Let's dive in. First, I'll show you the advanced use case because it works extremely well, but it is slightly technical. But do not worry, down below in the description of this video, you'll find a link to this script, which will make our magic happen. To generate our magical chapter titles, we'll need to run this Google Collab script. And all you need to do to set things up is this. You'll need to mount your Google Drive so that we can point to the file that you want to get chapter titles generated for. Then we'll grab the link to that file. And finally, we'll need to add the API key to the app that will generate chapter titles for us. Don't freak out. You do not need to know how this code runs or how it works. Also, it's free for 100 hours. So it's going to be super duper easy. And let's get started with that last step. We're going to go to assembly AI and we're going to create an account. I already have one created. You'll find the API key over here. Go ahead and paste it. And the first part is done. Now let's run the first cell from the script to connect our Google Drive folder. Let's click on connect to Google Drive. There is a pop-up to connect a specific account. I'll pick this one and off we go. Now, when you click on this folder icon, you can access your files. So I'm going to click on drive, find the file that I want to transcribe. It's called myvideo.mp4. I'm going to copy path to this file and paste it over here. And we're done with the setup. I'm going to click on runtime and run all. And essentially what this function does, it runs each individual cell in the script. And now if you go to the original folder where your file is located, you'll find another text document that contains your chapter titles. Let's take a look. We have chapter titles in the proper format. And then down below, we have individual timestamps for each chapter title and the summary of what's happening in that part of the video. In case you're curious how long this entire process took, you can go back to this script. Let's scroll down a little bit. And the first thing that we did is we turned this massive eight gigabyte file into an audio file so that we run it much quicker. So that is an eight megabyte file instead that we're going to be transcribing. So that process took two minutes. And then chapter title generation took one minute. So all in all, this 23 minute long video took about three minutes to run. I know it's pretty insane. I'm giving out this script for free that I use internally. Plus you have 100 hours of free transcription with assembly. It might not win me a Nobel Prize, but a like under this video, that's for sure. If before you tried using ChatGPT and pasted a video transcript with timestamps, you know it doesn't really work. And the reason it doesn't work is because the context window, the amount of information that ChatGPT can process is really limited. So to bypass that, we're going to use a little bit of a workaround. Let's go to platform.openai.com and navigate to Playground. This is where you usually test software, but for our goals, we can just input tons and tons of text and play around with different variables so that we can get accurate timestamps. First, let's go ahead and set things up. We want to select GPT-4 Turbo Preview, which is the less expensive model that's still super accurate. The temperature is how creative you want the AI to be. We're going to go for zero because we don't want it to hallucinate or come up with things that are not there in the script. Maximum output length. I'm just going to bump it up all the way to the right. Up next, we have system and user input. This is where your prompt will go. And system is just the definition of what this assistant should try to do. I have a pre-built template to generate chapter titles. You can grab it down below in the description of this video. It's really awesome. I really recommend that. Let's paste it over here. It says you're my professional post-production assistant. You'll be tasked with generating chapter titles. For this video, I have some output instructions and then I say, hey, you'll be provided input data, okay? And then for user input, this is where your prompt goes. We want to say generate chapter titles based on this script. 
And now you can paste your video script with timestamps. Very important. You will need to have timestamps because ChatGPT cannot know when you said a certain part in the video. This is extremely crucial. Here's how my looks like. I'm going to copy everything from here and paste it into our prompt window and hit submit. And let's watch open the eye do its magic. Okay, and there we have our chapter titles. As you can see, compared to the previous method, these chapter titles are a lot more granular. And there's another thing that I did. For each chapter title, I asked OpenAI to create a description, of course, like you saw before, but this time it's a little bit more granular. There's also the exact quote from that section and alternative title, so I will not need to think about what I should name each one of them. And this has been done for all 13 of the chapters that ChatGPT has created. Here comes my favorite part. Say, you do not want to stop here. You also want to get the video description created. Well, guess what? You can click on add message and write something like create a short description for this YouTube video. Boom, let's click submit. Okay, and this is just fantastic. And guess what? I have another prompt to get engaging video titles generated. I'm going to paste it over here and let's see what it outputs. And there they are. And the best part is that this is actually factual. This is based on the script that's in the video. I do say that I'll show you how to make a website that I would sell for $10,000 for as a part of my agency for only $150. And this is why generating video chapter titles this way is an absolute game changer. You can ask OpenAI to adjust things. You can say, hey, I want fewer titles, more titles, more descriptive titles. I want 10 versions of titles or you name it. This is what you can do in OpenAI's playground. I love it. If you want to take your video production to the next level, check out what we do at Represent. The link is down below. Till next time.